Hi everyone. In this video, today let us discuss about Mira background. What is this drug Mira background? This is a new drug which acts as sympathomimetic and this drug acts as beta 3 adrenergic receptor agonist. These beta 3 receptors are widely located and they are responsible for smooth muscle relaxation. So, Mira background acts as bladder relaxant. We have another group of drugs which also act as bladder relaxants. They are the anticholinergic agents. For instance, drugs such as solifinacin, darifinacin, tolterodine, oxybutynin. So many types of anticholinergic drugs are there which are acting like bladder relaxants. So, in order to produce the bladder relaxation, we can use two types of drugs. One type of drugs are anticholinergics and second one is beta 3 receptor agonists. So, we can stimulate the sympathetic system. Otherwise, we can block the parasympathetic system. By any of these two ways, we can produce a relaxation of the bladder smooth muscle. Particularly, Mira background is used in the conditions such as overactive bladder. So, when the bladder is contracting frequently, it results in the increased urinary output leading to few of the symptoms such as increased urinary frequency, enhanced urinary urgency and urinary incontinence. The patients are unable to control urination. In such conditions, Mira background can be used which can reduce this overactive bladder by acting as agonist on beta 3 adrenergic receptors. As we have seen, we can also use the anticholinergics. So, Mira background can be used either alone or in combination with anticholinergics. So, this drug can be combined with solifinacin which is again another anticholinergic indicated for overactive bladder. Today in this video, we are going to see how this Mira background acts, what is its chemical nature, what are the important precautions, side effects, doses, all these things we will discuss in this video. First of all, that is the chemical nature of this drug. So, this is the structure of Mira background. Here we can observe amide as the principal function group. Let us give the numbering. So, this is 1 and 2. So, simply it is a estamide derivative. This estamide is attached to the phenyl ring on the nitrogen. So, we can write this as N dash phenyl estamide. Now, to this phenyl ring at the fourth position, an ethyl side chain is attached. So, 4 ethyl. Now, to this ethyl at the second position, this entire group is attached. We can simply observe that this group is nothing but phenyl ethyl amine derivative. So, phenyl ethyl amines are the catechalamines. That's why Mira background is a adrenergic receptor agonist. Now, we can write this group as 2 dash 2 hydroxy phenyl ethyl amino. So, this group is attached to the second position of ethyl side chain. And finally, we can see that one heterocyclic ring is attached at the second position of estamide, which is nothing but thiazol ring. So, we can write this as 2 dash 2 amino thiazol 4 il. That is the complete name of Mira background. Now, let us see how this drug acts. At the bladder, both sympathetic as well as parasympathetic neurons are present, which can control both contraction as well as relaxation of bladder smooth muscle. Now, sympathetic neurons are equipped with norepinephrine. Similarly, on the detrosor muscle, the adrenergic receptors such as beta 3 receptors are present, which are G protein coupled receptors associated with alpha beta gamma subunits. Now, during the exocytosis, norepinephrine can be released and it can act on beta 3 receptors. Similarly, Mira background acts as agonist on these receptors. So, it can bind to these beta 3 adrenergic receptors, resulting in their stimulation, leading to activation of adenyl L cyclase system. This adenyl cyclase can convert the ATP into one of the important secondary messenger cyclic AMP. This cyclic AMP then activate the protein kinase A which results in various cellular activities. One of the role mediated by the cyclic AMP through the protein kinases is the inactivation of the MLCK. This MLCK is one of the phosphorylating enzyme required for contraction. But this MLCK is going to be converted into MLCK phosphate, which is the inactive form of this enzyme. So, when this enzyme is inactive within the smooth muscle, the MLC phosphate is not formed, resulting in the relaxation of smooth muscle. 
In this way, Mira background can increase the relaxation of detrusor muscle, leading to increased storage capacity of bladder. So, this reduces the urinary incontinence in the patients as urine is more stored within the bladder, reducing the urinary frequency as well as urinary urgency within the patients. What are the precautions? One of the important precautions of Mira background is that this drug can affect the blood pressure within the patients. So, by use of this drug, we can observe a raise in the blood pressure, which should be closely monitored. And this is important when this drug is combined with other drugs such as solifenacin. So, this combination may further increase the blood pressure, which should be closely monitored. Particularly in the patients with systolic blood pressure greater than 180 and diastolic blood pressure greater than 110, this drug is contraindicated. Similarly, this drug acts as agonist on beta-3 receptors located on detrusor muscle. But in the patients with any bladder outlet obstruction, this drug may reduce the urinary flow resulting in urinary retention. Again, this side effect is more pronounced with other drugs such as solifenacin, which further increase the urinary retention. Few of the drugs such as metoprolol, which is a selective beta blocker, TCAs like desipramine, Antipsychotics such as thiodazine, antiarrhythmics such as flacainide, propofenone, all these drugs are converted into metabolites by CYP2D6 enzyme. Now, Mira background acts as CYP2D6 inhibitor. It can block this enzyme activity so that these drugs are not converted into their metabolites, resulting in their increased levels within the serum. So, Mira background can increase the toxicity of these drugs. Particularly, if you have the drugs such as thiuridazine, flacanide, and propofenone, these drugs are having some narrow therapeutic window. So, when they are combined with Mira background, their levels are suddenly increased, resulting in toxic reactions. Similarly, Mira background can also increase the angioedema within the patients. So, it can produce some swelling of lips, tongue, glottis, and larynx. So, if any such conditions are observed, then this drug should be carefully used. What are the side effects? Just we have seen that this drug can increase the blood pressure. So, hypertension is one of the important side effect of Mira background. So, it can also produce some headache, some constipation, nasopharyngitis and upper respiratory tract infections. It can also produce some fatigue in the patients, arthralgia, joint pain, abdominal pain and it can also increase the heart rate resulting in tachycardia since this is a sympathomimetic. There may be a chance of stimulation of heart resulting in tachycardia. Other side effects mainly include dry mouth, blurred vision and urinary tract infections can be observed with this Mira background. How it is given? Mira background is available as extended release tablets. It is also available as oral suspension. The initial dose of the drug is started at 25 mg given as once daily. And based on the efficacy of the treatment, the dose may be slowly increased to 50 mg, again given as once daily. And this Mira background can also be combined with anticholinergics such as solifenacin. So, this drug can be used either alone or in combination with anticholinergics. So, that's about this drug Mira background, which is a newer adrenergic receptor agonist which acts on beta 3 receptors. By acting on beta-3 receptors, it produces a bladder relaxation, thereby increase the storage capacity, leading to decreased symptoms such as urinary frequency, urinary urgency, as well as it can also control the urinary incontinence. That's why this drug is indicated in the patients with overactive bladder. Hypertension is one of the important precautions that should be considered with this drug. And in the patients with severe hypertension, this drug is contraindicated. This drug can also produce some urinary retention, but particularly in those patients with bladder or flow obstruction. And this drug is initiated at a dose of 25 mg given once daily. The dose can be increased up to 50 mg. So that's about this drug. Mira background. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.